So today what we are doing is we are going to be working on our back to school transfer. And I know it is only July, uh, almost the middle of July already. And that means probably in just five or six weeks that kids are gonna be headed back to school already. It's hard to imagine that that's the case. Um, my kids are grown now, but um, I still remember those days really fondly of getting my kids set and ready for school and uh, those first uh, day pictures that you took and kept and hung on your walls for years. I still have many of mine still around. Um, I really wish I remember to grab one and actually um, have it available so that we could uh, show you some pictures from when my kids were young. But uh, I promise I will actually, uh, I will dig one out and put one in uh, the the comments here uh, later. So if you are joining me live, welcome. It's great to see you. If you're watching the replay, wonderful. It's great to have you. Um, every week I've been trying to come to you live and highlight a new Chaka Tour project. Um, as I said this week, we are working on our back to school transfer. And I've done something a little bit different today, and that is that I've actually already created our back to school board and this is on our 10 inch square boutique board and as you can see here let's see if I can get it close enough to the camera so you can see the whole thing there you go um, I've done it in two colors and it's for preschooler um, that's going back to school in pink and white one of the great things about this transfer is that it comes with all the grades up through I believe sixth grade and it's got some fun little add-ons like an apple and as you saw the cute little owl um, but you can change out just the grade each year so we're just going to be able to erase this grade and the year and fix it so that it is good for next year as well so i'm going to show you how you do that really quick during the demo today and uh, just highlight some of the pieces that are come with this back to school transfer so it's really fun there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this you can make it customized for your child's um, school colors. Um, matter of fact, I have some red, I'm sorry, oh my goodness, red, blue and yellow that we're going to use on the reverse side. Now the reverse side, this is a two-sided chalkboard, so we can use either side to chalk on. And so if you've got more than one child, it's really great because you can have a sign for them to hold for their picture. And then after you've taken their picture, you can have the other side done with that other child's information and school colors if you want. So that's kind of fun. Um, so, um, as I said, we're going to start off by just taking this initial transfer that we did and we're just going to update it, pretending that this isn't for our preschooler, but now our now kindergartner and it'll be for 2019. So I'm going to show you how quickly how you can change this out really fast and then we'll put together the reverse side so that you can see how this all works. So that's what we're planning to do today. So I'm going to flip this down here so that you can see my project instead of me. Let's see, make sure that you can see that. I think that's probably pretty good here. I'm pretty centered, so that's good. Um, if Certainly if you're here, please feel free to say hi and, um, and send me a wave. And if there's something that you'd like to know or ask a question, please feel free to do that. Um, as I said, we're going to start off by just making some changes to our existing ones. So we're going to pretend that our preschooler is now headed to kindergarten. So we're going to take our board eraser, um, and uh, this is kind of like a little uh, magic eraser that's specifically formulated to work really well with our boards. And you'll see it's really easy to wipe off the word here. Pretty quick and easy. And then I only need to change the year, so I just need to remove the eight. And we wanna make sure that this board is good and dry. And I think I forgot to grab, oh, paper towels, here we are. It's always good to be working nearby where you have all your supplies. And we're just gonna make sure this is nice and dry before we Fix our transfer and add the new number and class. So as I said, we're going to do kindergartner. And I've got it over here. 
and I've taken it off the backer and I have just put it on a paper towel here to fuzz it a little bit. That just makes it easier to lift off once we're done with the transfer. And we're gonna keep with our pink theme here and make this pink. Now remember this is an adhesive back transfer. So if you don't like exactly where it is positioned, you can pick it up and place it again down. Uh, if you really like to make sure that things are straight, you can definitely use some placement tape. Um, Chocotour does have some placement tape that you can purchase if you'd like. Um, but this seemed like it was pretty straightforward and I don't think I'll need it. Now you just want to make sure that you press down on the surface where we're going to be chalking over just to make sure that there are no bubbles. And then we're gonna open up our chalk paste container and this is our wild berry, one of the new uh, paste that came out in July when we released our new autumn winter catalog. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir to make sure we've mixed it all pretty well. Sometimes when it sits for a little bit, it might separate a bit or get a little thick. Um, so you just wanna go ahead and make sure that you give it a really good stir. And uh, if you've got some along the sides here, you can definitely feel free to go ahead and just pull those right in. And the chalk paste will really reconstitute nicely. If for some reason it's a little too thick, you can add a squirt or two of water if you need to. So just a little tiny bit goes a long way. And basically you want your chalk paste to be the consistency of like yogurt. So that's kind of a good consistency to think about and to work with and just keep stirring until all those chunks that I just pulled off from the side disappear. Now this chalk paste will last a good long time, especially if you take really good care of it. Um, as I said, you can always add water to reconstitute it. And uh, as long as you make sure that your, your rim here is pretty clean, you can go ahead and put the top on and it should last for you once it's open for about six months. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side here and we are going to take our squeegee. So we have uh, two squeegees currently available uh, in our catalog. Um, we have an older squeegee that looks like this. It is, uh, the big difference is really it's unbranded, it doesn't say chalk couture on it and it's horizontal. So there is kind of a little uh, squeegee edge here that is thinner and that allows you to draw your chalk paste over. Um, we have a, a new one that was released in July uh, that looks like this. It's pretty similar. The difference is you can see there's a chalk couture logo on it and it's vertical instead. And so this fits nicely really inside the jars and so it's nice to be able to utilize. This one too though I like a lot. Um, we still have some available and they are in stock so you could still order them if you'd like. Um, and I actually take them and cut them up into pieces because sometimes when I'm working in some small spaces, I really prefer having um, some, some smaller pieces of the um, squeegee. So I'm just putting a little bit of chalk paste on my squeegee and then I'm just taking it and pulling it across the area that is the negative space. That's the screen. So as I said, these are silk screen transfers. Uh, so they're not stencils, but actually screens. So you want to fill up the areas where the screen is empty. And you can just go ahead and put that in some water. And then if you had nails, you could pull that right up. I don't have nails. I'm a nail biter. I have been for um, too many years to mention. And then just pull it right up. And so when you pull your transfer up, you want to make sure that you pull it off not on a diagonal. Um, you want to pull it up as straight as possible, and that way you'll uh, make sure that you won't stretch out your transfer. Now your transfers are reusable, which is really awesome, so you can uh, keep using them over and over again. Um, as I am pulling it off, I have a little water bath here next to me, and that's what I'm doing is I'm just placing that transfer in the water bath. When I'm all done with my project, then I can pull those out, wipe both sides with uh, Clorox wipe or disinfectant wipe, and just let it dry on a towel. And that will keep it uh, really nice and fresh. And once it's dry, you can put it back on the transfer backer that comes with um, the transfer. Uh, and that's how you can keep them nice and safe. And you can use your transfers about a dozen times, potentially more if you uh, take good care of it. Um, so as you can see, we have added the word kindergarten. 
And now we just need to add a new year here. And so I'm gonna search through my numbers and see if I have already cut my nine. Oh, here it is. Make sure it's not the six, it is not. So uh, we do have all of the numbers here and we're gonna use the nine here to place down. So again, remember, oh, let me just fuzz this up a little to make it a little bit easier to come off. While I'm letting that fuzz, let me open up my white here. Again, just wanna check the consistency and make sure everything looks good. This is uh, not a full paste. Oh my goodness, I actually left. <laughs> I must have had a uh, stirrer in here that I neglected to move out and it was hiding in there. You know, I'm just gonna put it in some water here. Clean out my fingers a bit so I don't get white everywhere. Always good to have some paper towels or a squeegee nearby. All right, give this a pretty good stir, and this is a pretty good consistency, so not too much I need to worry about doing with it. It's ready to go ahead. Pull off our number nine and place it on our board where we want it to go. I'm just gonna blow off a few of those pieces that I had left. And again, if you want to line this up really perfectly, the placement tape that we have that has some markers is a really great tool to use, so definitely feel free to take a look at that. And I'm just going to dab on a little bit and use one of those little squeegees that I talked about here and pull it right across. Now the chalk paste is going to dry hard, um, but and it will dry, especially small spaces like this, pretty quickly. So you want to make sure that you're moving along. You don't want to like leave this down and then go to another area and work and not pull up your transfer because then the uh, chalk will actually harden right to your transfer and you won't be able to pull it up. So that was it. That's all it took. Really quick and easy to make that change out. Um, and so let me, while this is drying, let me just show you some of the other pieces that come with this transfer that you can see what we can do with it. And uh, you can imagine how you might be able to utilize it for your child or your grandchild or even your classroom if you're a teacher. It'd be a fun thing to be able to put on your, uh, your door to welcome people back to their first day of school. Um, so as you can see, we have this first day uh, transfer and uh, this is all part of one big sheet called our back to school transfer. Um, so all these pieces are here uh, on this one sheet. It sells for, I believe, $24.99. Now this, I really love. This is a great uh, ribbon. You see these everywhere. They're kind of fun. You can put it on all kinds of transfers. This back to school one, certainly, but also others that you like. I know, Shelly, isn't this a lot of fun? What grades are your children going into this year? Um, it'd be really fun to do this and definitely have them hold that sign. I would love to see when it's all done to see what it looks like. Um, you can see there's an apple, this owl that I was telling about. That's awfully fun. Um, and I'll show you how to put all these pieces together really quickly just because they're super fun. Um, so there's actually a uh, this first one here that I want to show. This is the piece you're going to put down first. And it is a... Um, the whole body, so it's gonna be the background color. In this case, it was the white that I put on my guy. And then this is the overlay that's gonna go over it. Um, and that's gonna be the pink that I put on. And then, of course, we can't have our owl without the cute little eyes. And that's what this little dot section is for. Those are the eyes. Now, in addition, we have some cute little uh, arrows, as you see I used down here. But we also have a pencil and even a fun little pen. Uh, and then of course, I never put my nose on my owl, but there is a nose also, so we can add a nose to him. Matter of fact, you know what, while we're waiting for the rest of this to dry, let's go ahead and put the nose on because it's so cute. So second grade, Shelly, that's awesome. Um, oh, I have to say, probably of all the years, I think, Second grade was really interesting because they were really starting to blossom. By third grade, things kind of started to get a little serious um, and there was a little bit more work going on. So that was always tricky. Um, but, uh, and a 21 month year old, oh, that's so exciting. I miss those days. My kids are now 24, so uh, we're at the stage where we're 
I'm praying for grandchildren. Uh, they are telling me uh, not to hold my breath. Um, so they've got a little bit of time yet before that happens. Hey, Allie, nice to see you. I'm going to put my nose on my owl here. Just wipe up this excess because he's so cute. I just love this owl. And, you know, it's on the back-to-school transfer, but really it can be used on any design that you're creating. This one just happens to be with um, the back-to-school transfer, but it can, it can really be versatile and be used in lots of different places. So there we go. So we've added our year, we've changed out our grade, and we've put a little nose on our owl. So these could all be one color if you wanted. Um, in, the, in the catalog, as a matter of fact, you'll see this is all done just all in white, and it's really awesome, um, really easy and fun. Um, you can do multicolors. I've seen some really great examples of ones that have been done by some other designers that have been primary colors and really bright, so they've been really cool. And I just want to touch this. It seems like this is pretty dry. It is. And remember, this is going to dry really, really hard. So even if I'm rubbing on it, if I don't have water on my hands, it is not going to erase. So it really is just that easy. So let me just show you quick. I'm going to take off this tie here. By the way, this uh, jute ribbon does come along with this 10-inch um, board and this board is really reasonable it's actually it's only $9.99 it retails for and as I said again it's two-sided uh, it's really heavy-duty and not too heavy so it's great for little ones to be able to hold and um, it's really easy to clean up and reuse so super fun uh, so let's go ahead and put down this first part of our transfer and as you see it's a little bit longer than our board, but that's all right. If it goes over, it's not a problem. We're just gonna go ahead and put it down where we want it. And I'm going to use our blue here. This is, uh, I never say this right, azure blue, I believe. And it's been sitting here open, so I'm just gonna give this a little squirt here and just make sure that it's the right consistency. And basically, I think the lighter it is, the less heavy it is or thick, the better it actually goes on to the board and spreads. So I like it a little bit thinner. So feel free to play around with it. As it sits out, it will thicken up a little. Um, and as I said, no worries. You just need to add a little water and that will take care of it. And since this is a pretty big space and I am gonna do this in all blue, I'm going to just take a little bigger piece of my squeegee just to make this quick. And I only need to go over the areas where the screen is. So I don't have to cover the whole thing. And I'm going to start here at the top only because I think it might be a little bit quicker to demonstrate. But you can kind of work in whatever order makes the most sense for you. Make sure we get to the ends and we cover all of this. So you can see it's still a little bit thick. Um, and again, when it's thick, it dries a little faster too. So thinner is always better. And remember, if you don't like how it turns out, don't worry about it. You can easily erase it and start again. So there we go. We've got our blue ribbons. And I'm gonna set that over here in water and let that do its thing. And then I'm going to put my first day. Hey, Michelle, nice to have you. Welcome. Please feel free to tell us where you're from. And if it's, this is your first time watching, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you think that there's someone that you uh, think might enjoy watching, please feel free to go ahead and use the share button and share this video. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate that very much. And if you're interested in taking a look at all of the transfers that Chalk uh, makes available, you can uh, do so by just going to my website, which is Timmy, T I M I, dot .com. And I will put that on our page here once we finish up the live. So if you want to take a peek at what other transfers are available uh, and what's uh, new, certainly feel free to do that. Uh, today was a big day because we had a big release of uh, new 
transfers, 11 new transfers today. It's been a big month. Um, I've had lots of new things come out, uh, lots of excitement. I couldn't help myself. I bought a few more things. Um, but if you are a fan of the holidays, we've got some great fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas transfers, along with other everyday transfers that will just be awesome for your home. Great for gifts and certainly great for a relaxing crafting experience. There we go. Just gonna pull that right off and voila, there is our first day of is ready. Now I did that in yellow. So I remember going to school in uh, elementary school and I was a cheerleader and uh, these were our school colors so I figured these are the ones I would try. Michelle, do you have little ones that are uh, headed off to school this fall? If so, let us know what grade they're headed into. And we can do uh, your first day uh, one with your child's grade, if you'd like. All right. Um, now we want, it's my first day. It's my, it's right here. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to put that right above our first day of school. We're just going to let that sit for a minute. And I am also going to get our cute little owl here ready. So he's lots of fun. And this blue is pretty close to being dry, so I think this might be a good time to go ahead and plunk our owl over here. I think I'm going to put him in a little different space than I did in the other area. And since we are using our yellow and blue theme, I'm going to go ahead and just get him started. Whoops, did you see what I just did? I just made a big blob. That's all right because you can easily take a Q-tip and wash that right up. Um, definitely happens when you're, when you're not being cautious, which I am not. But like I said, it's one of the nice things about Chalk Tour. You can easily just wipe it right up and fix your mistakes. All right, I got a lot of colors here in my face here. I got to make some room so I can put that down. All right, and see a little smudgy there. Again, no worries. We can just take a little bit of a um, little bit of a Q-tip and we'll get that piece right up. So no worries about that. And the other thing you could always do is overlay on top and fix anything, any mistakes that you might have made. So I'm going to just fix this little spot right here. There we go. That was with my little board eraser. Uh, and you could also do it if you don't have a board eraser with just, as I said, a little Clorox wipe and or a toothpick. My toothpicks seem to be MIA at the particular moment in time, of course, that I need them. But you can wait till this dries and then clean it up from there too if you'd like, so no worries. All right, so as we're working on the first day of school, we'll let this dry for a minute and we're gonna go ahead and put in our apple. Maybe we'll put that over here, whoops. And keeping with our theme here, we'll make this yellow. And remember, I didn't really love that blue consistency, so we're going to add a little bit of water to it before we use it again, just to make it a little nicer. Yes, there we go. All right, apple is done. Just that simple, really is fast and easy. Now the thing when you're layering, you're adding another layer on top, you do wanna make sure that that layer's dry before you add another. And anywhere where these are gonna overlap areas that are wet, you wanna be cautious of as well um, because you don't want it to overlap. Here we go. So we've got a couple of yellows here started. So we could do the whole piece or just part of it. And then do the tip a different color, maybe the blue if we want. 
And again, any of the extra that you have, you could just go ahead and wipe off your transfer and also then put right back in your jar and reuse it. Let's see, I think I need a little piece here for my blue to get the top of this pencil. Lift up that transfer. And again, you can use whatever colors you'd like. All right, things are looking pretty good here. This little owl needs a little cleaning up. And as I said, a Q-tip probably would be a little better, smaller than my big fat fingers. There you go, even that little tool works. A little paintbrush would also do the trick. You have a little paintbrush here, so you could use that with a little bit of water and get that up. So whatever you'd like, pretty easy. All right, so uh, Michelle, we don't know which uh, grade your son or daughter is going into if, we, if you have some, but we do know that Shelley's son is headed into second grade, so let's go ahead and use that one. So we've got the second. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a fuzz. And we've got our grade. Same thing. We're going to do a little bit of fuzz. And then we're going to finish up that owl. And we're going to be pretty close to being done here. So second. Right here. I said I'm going to put a little more water in this blue. Is it hot where you all are? Because it's awfully hot here in Connecticut. And we're definitely finding this chalk paste is getting thicker in this heat. There's our second. Oh, much better. See how nice and smooth that is? Big difference. It's not drying automatically upon spreading. Very nice, very easy to use that way. Here we go. There's our second. And we've got our grade. We know what, before I put grade, let's give it a minute to uh, catch up, dry. And I know that this area is dry, so let's go ahead and put it, it's my, right here. And I think this needs another color, so I'm gonna use some white. That might also be really nice to finish off our owl. So let's go ahead and add the white in. And pull that right off. There you go. So again, if you're not really sure that you love where the placement of something is, you can go ahead and easily erase it and do it over. But part of the fun thing is that you are uh, making it your own. And no one says it has to be perfect. All right, he's pretty dry, so that's great. As this is, my second is pretty close to being dry, but I think since my owl is, let's go ahead and do our second layer. This is the second layer of our owl. And as you saw before, we are going to put this over him. So just line him right up. And I'm kind of liking the white, so I'm going to add a little white and then maybe we'll use the blue for some highlights on our owl. I don't know if you just saw that, but it just uh, hit the hole where my board hole was, but that's not going to hurt anything. There we go. Wiped off quite a bit of extra there. And we're going to pull him right up. So you can see he pulled up a little bit of the yellow. I'm not sure if you can totally see that or not. But um, it's partly because I just didn't wait quite long enough to let that totally dry. But we could go over that again if we needed to. But I'm okay with it. I think we're good. 
Uh, let's go ahead and feel our, yeah, he feels pretty good too. So let's go ahead and put our blue. We have a very untraditional apple going on here with a blue stem and a yellow apple. Must be a golden delicious. Good thing I have lots of little pieces of uh, squeegee here. I keep pulling them up and finding different places to put them. As you see, I've got all these colors here all about. All right, there we go. He is in. And my water bath here is getting pretty full with all my different pieces, but that's all right. And we want to do grade, and we're just about done here. Just want to finish up our owl with his eyes, as we said. Maybe put in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Press that down. Sticking with our blue here. I think that's a good one. Wipe off the excess. I gotta remember, wipe it off. Because the more you get off, actually, the better it's going to look on your transfer, too, and on your board. I think we're done with that guy. I'm gonna put him away. Here we go, second grade. Have to say, these have been pretty easy to line up, which is kind of cool. And uh, we've got our eyes to put on. I think we're going to do some blue there for his eyes. We'll give him another minute or two to dry up. And last few things here, and I think we're going to be just about done. So as I mentioned, we do have quite a few transfers that came out today. One of the new transfers that just came out is called This Little Light of Mine. And um, it's a really special one because uh, it is the one that Chalkatour has chosen to um, be part of its philanthropic giving back. And uh, for, the, for every purchase of that transfer, um, which is a really adorable one that was made by our founder, Tara, specifically for the cause. Uh, $2 is going to the Watts of Love um, organization, which provides solar lights to people who are without electricity. A lot of those folks are living uh, in situations where they're using kerosene to light their homes, and the kerosene uh, lamps are collapsing and burning their homes or even burning their children. Uh, so it's a great cause and uh, we're excited to be able to make that available to our customers to make the purchase and support that very worthwhile cause. All right here guys, we are definitely getting to the end of our first day of school transfer. There's so many fun things to add. I feel like I just want to keep putting them on. Our little pen here. He's kind of cute. We'll give him a little blue. Keep our color theme going. And the no-nails lady, here she is. Whoop, there we go, perfect. And last but not least, some eyes for our little owl. And if we don't put them down, if we don't put our transfer down too hard, we will be able to, oh, here they are, I lost my eyes, they were right here. We should be able to keep it from pulling up our, I gotta, I gotta be able to stand when I see this so I can see where these eyes belong. And I already had a little bit of blue on here. There he is. And I think our beak is hiding, actually, because I had used it for the earlier one in my water bath. So I can't finish the beak, but that should give you an idea of how quick and easy it is to put together a board just for your child. 
going back to school and for those great pictures. So I hope you had fun watching. It was great talking with all of you and uh, definitely would love to hear your feedback. So I will take pictures of both sides of this and put it up in our uh, discussion here. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And also be sure to uh, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel so that you know when I'm going live next time. Probably won't be till uh, later this weekend or even next week. So uh, keep, in, keep an, an eye out and I'll let you know what's come up next. I'll give you a little hint. It might have to do with polka dots. So talk to you soon, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.